I'm Danny Epperson at the fabulous Commodore Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining us for the Cinema 15 presentation of the legendary 1961 musical, West Side Story. I'd always heard West Side Story was a masterpiece, but I had no idea how great this movie really was. If it's been a while for you, trust me, it's just as fun as you remember. If it's your first time, you're in for something special. The colors, the costumes, and the choreography grab you from the start, and you'll find yourself humming the film's familiar songs long after the credits roll by. Maria, I've just met a girl named Maria. Inspired by Shakespeare's tragic love story of Romeo and Juliet, and based on the hit 1957 Broadway musical, the film version of West Side Story is a spectacular tale of romance and rivalry on a grand scale. The movie takes place in 1950s New York City, where two gangs, the Jets and the Sharks, fight for turf and territory. Natalie Wood plays Maria, a young Puerto Rican girl who falls for Jets co-founder Tony, played by Richard Beamer. The Broadway show was such a huge hit that when word got out about the big screen adaptation, all the young Hollywood A-listers came calling. The film's producers wanted Elvis Presley to play Tony, but he declined. Warren Beatty, Burt Reynolds, and Dennis Hopper also auditioned for the role. And Audrey Hepburn was the first actress considered for Maria, but she declined because she was pregnant at the time. Can you imagine what the film would have been like with Elvis and Audrey? It's fun to imagine what could have been, but believe me, the cast and crew did just fine. When West Side Story debuted in October 1961, the film was a smash and went on to earn 10 Academy Awards, including Best Picture, making it the most successful movie musical in history. I'll be back after the film to reveal some more great behind the scenes secrets, but for now, let's hit the lights and enjoy West Side Story. Wow, that was something else, right? I mean, after two and a half hours of singing and dancing, I'm exhausted. All those musical numbers took a real toll on the actors. While Tony and Maria's singing voices were dubbed, every dance step was the real deal. Rita Marino, who played Anita, said that Leonard Bernstein's unconventional score made for some physically challenging choreography. Ah. The parking garage sequence for the song Cool featured what one writer called possibly the most complex instrumental music heard on Broadway to date. After hours of such demanding footwork, the cast celebrated by ritually burning their knee pads. West Side Story was such a big film that producers hired two directors to handle the job. Robert Wise was brought in to direct the dramatic scenes and the Broadway legend Jerome Robbins took charge of the musical numbers. But when cost ran high, Robbins, who had directed the Broadway version, was let go. Because of his huge creative contribution to the film, Wise still insisted on sharing the credit. So when the Academy Award for Best Director was awarded in 1962, they both took home an Oscar. Robert Wise and Jerome Robbins for West Side Story. I'm Danny Epperson, and I'll see you next week for another great film from WHRO and Cinema 15.